All right, New York, North America, well represented in our next welterweight super fight. It's U.S. versus Canada. First to the glory ring, he won the Road to Glory USA welterweight tournament in April, and with it, a glory contract. Please welcome Francois Ambang. Francois Ombang, known as Bang Bang, it only makes sense, ranked number 19 in the welterweight division. I tried to time it, that was the bang I was referring to. Yeah, but Ron, you gotta admit, that woke you up. Uh, he's very aggressive. Ong Bang is a southpaw, powerful punches and kicks, but we, we noticed this when we talked to him, he's really motivated for this fight. Yes, he is, Ong Bang. He's a mixed martial artist, a boxer, and a kickboxer, an all-around busy man. The winner of the eight-man developmental Road to Glory USA welterweight tournament in March. His opponent tonight hailing from Toronto, Canada. This young prospect has only tasted defeat once as an amateur and pro. Here is Joseph Va. Big ovation here in New York City for that man, Joseph Faltolini, ranked number eight in the glory welterweight rankings. With the latest on the welterweight rankings, check out gloryworldseries.com or our Facebook page, Glory Sports International. We also want to hear from you on Twitter at hashtag Glory9. We are set for this super fight between Valtellini and Ombang. We check out the numbers for this welterweight matchup. Both these guys are young and hungry, and the experience is close on paper, but other than the fact that Valtellini has more KOs, more wins by KO, uh, he has definitely passed the birth of fire by fighting in a major glory show before Ombang has. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we next turn our attention to the welterweight ranks of glory for this super fight scheduled for three three-minute rounds. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, originally from Cameroon, he now calls New York City home and is known for his speed and power. His record, 10 wins with two losses at 1.80 meters, 5 feet 11 inches tall, and weighing in at 76.7 kilos, 169 pounds, Representing the United States of America, he is Francois Ombang. Here now is his opponent, standing on my left and fighting out of the red corner, a Canadian national champion, undefeated as an amateur, with pure knockout power. His record, eight wins with just one loss, seven of those eight wins by knockout. At 1.80 meters, five feet 11 inches tall, he weighed in at 77.7 .7 kilos, 171 pounds. Representing Canada and ranked number eight in the world, here is Bazooka Joe Baltalini. Your referee in charge of this bout is Al Wickers. Protect yourself at all times. Obey my commands at all times. Fight clean, fight hard. Remember, in case of a knockdown, you go to Florida's neutral quarters while I tell you to continue. Any questions, fighters? Back up. Have a good fight. Super fight in the welterweight division. Joseph Baltolini and Francois Ombang. First thing I noticed when they entered the ring is that Ombang had a little bit of a sweat, and Valtellini did not. Meaning that Valtellini may want to warm up here in the first round, but 
if uh, Ong Bang can seize upon that, he can just jump on him and do some damage. Both these guys ranked in the uh, Glory Welterweight division. Visit our website, gloryworldseries.com, for the latest rankings. You can also follow us on Twitter. Join the conversation using hashtag Glory9. Or check out our Facebook page, Glory Sports International. Ron Kruk and Steven Quadros here, ringside for Glory 9 New York. What an evening so far. They're definitely playing the jab low kick game so far. They're really going back and forth here. Both guys doing good work to set something bigger up. Uh -oh. Both have some knockout power. Now here lies the problem. Now listen. Uh, Ombang threw the low kick. Bontolini knee checked him. That actually hurt Ombang's right leg. Well, it hurt him, but was it a knockdown? No, it wasn't. But nonetheless, it, it's going to affect him throwing low kicks. The spike goes on. It sure will. Here comes Baltolini with a couple of counters. Another low kick there from Baltolini. Tom Bang, the winner, the Road to Glory welterweight tournament back in March. He said it changed his life. He now has become a full-time fighter at the age of 26 years old, giving him the opportunity. That's what the developmental Road to Glory series does for these fighters. Shot gets through, delivered by Ombang. Ombang is hanging back here. He's got really good high kicks and a good right hand right there. He needs to do more of that. Uh, fighting a technical fight against Valtellini um, may not be to his best advantage. Nice counter punch there from Valtellini. Very intelligent fighter is Joseph Valtellini. That right hand of Ombang is, an, is, is always there. Fighters exchanging. Ombang off the ropes, delivers the right. Combination there. Straight kick just misses. Now it's Baltolini that moves forward. Mm -hmm. That head kick was shielded. But nonetheless, Baltolini landed with some force. Good action in round number one. Glory 9 rolls on from here in New York City. The first time the Glory World Series has visited the States. When you throw a low kick uh, and you knee check it like that, that really hurts your shin. And Ombang, yeah, you know, he suffered a little bit for that. But uh, Valtellini coming to raising, but he ate an overhand right as a result. Left that left hand down after he threw that hook. Success with the counter from Ombang there. Coming off the ropes. <laughs> Round two scheduled for three in the glory welterweight division. Joseph Baltolini and Francois Ombang. And here comes Ombang. I think that's what Ombang needs to do more of. Just swarm in there throwing bombs, overhand rights. Take this out of a technical fight. Baltolini, again, working on the lead leg of Ombang, as you pointed out in the first round, Stephen. Yeah, it's uh, those right low kicks that uh, Valtellini is throwing, unchecked by Ombang, are going to do some damage. But Ombang there with a good right hand in the clinch. That landed cleanly to the face of Joseph Baltellini. Ombang picking up the pace now. Yeah, Ombang. Just come storming in Rocky Marciano style, see what happens. That's where he's been landing with that big right hand, whether it be straight or overhand. Tom a very powerful, aggressive fighter. Nice counter there. You know, that's one of the things in the spin through. If you miss a kick and you spin around, the guy could be waiting for you with a punch combination. Of course, 
Ombang had his shield up, and those didn't land firmly by Baltolini. Moving forward, Baltolini and paying the price. He pushes Ombang into the corner. Body shot delivered by Ombang. Baltolini has got to find an answer for that right hand that Ombang is landing on more than occasion. The left hook by Baltolini landed there well. Oh. Just misses with the spinning back fist. You're right, Joseph Baltolini now pouring it on. He might have hurt him. He gets yeah. a hook through. Yeah, no. Right now, something is wrong. Uh, whether it be the cardiovascular is starting to fail. Ombang. Ombang is starting to fade. Oh. Low kick there. Right up the middle. Thank, thank the Lord for the tie cut. Under one minute to go. Baltolini continues to destroy that lead leg of Ombang. Another shot. Ombang is starting to drop that left hand as they go to the ropes. Expect the right hand straight from Baltolini at any moment. There it is. There it is. And good combination follows it up with a kick. Seems like the tide has turned in this second round in favor of Joseph Baltolini. And Baltolini is really having his way here. He's really pushing Ombang onto the ropes. Didn't set up that spinning heel kick very there well. There he goes. But Ombang took that left hook. I think it wobbled him. The ropes helped him there. Ten seconds to go. Joseph Baltolini taking control of round number two. He's turning that uh, front leg of Ombang into sausage with those low kicks. Team Ombang was really the aggressor in the beginning of that second round. Baltolini came back strong. Yeah, he really did. Like, Prince is here, he counters, uh, but Ombang shielded well, but nonetheless, he was getting pushed back. And Baltolini really starts to find his distancing, his timing. Uh, Ombang tried a little rope dope there, didn't work because when he bounced back, he got caught. And Ombang trying to do some work, but Baltolini comes back is the better and the sharper of the punchers. Paul Minhas, Baltolini's trainer, giving him last minute instructions over here to Ong Bang. Third and final round. Steven, how do you have this one scored? Well, the first round was kind of close. I still gave it to Baltolini. Definitely Baltolini won the second round. So I've got Ombang needs something really big here to make things happen. You know, he's done pretty good in this fight because Baltolini, he basically wrecked Murat Direxi, who's a legend in Europe in his last fight. But uh, Ombang has done extremely well on his own right. But look, see, he's switching to southpaw now because that, that front leg is toast right now. That lead leg of Francois Ombang has taken a beating. High kick delivered from Baltolini. Nice counter, though, from Ombang. Yeah, because of that front leg. Oh, oh he almost you know knocked what? him down. One more low kick. If he loads up and lands it, this fight very well could be over. Ombang can't even put any weight on it, and you just know, like that, you know what? down goes Francois Ombang with another low kick to the lead leg of Francois Ombang. Al Wickers may very well call this. If he can't walk out, there it is. That's gonna do it. You mentioned it in the first round, Steven Joseph Baltolini was going to work on the lead leg of Francois. Ombang continued to deliver blows. Ombang couldn't even put any pressure on that leg here in the third round and finally took him out with a devastating kick. What happens is a guy who's much more experienced than his record shows in Baltolini, he sizes up a guy, finds a weakness, and goes right after it, and that's what he did here with the low kick. Bazooka Joe, Joseph Baltolini, known for his knockout ability, should be known for his devastating kicks as well. That's going to be tough for Ombang. Ombang is going to be limping for a while. As they say in Muay Thai, you got to go low, low, low. 
meaning that they want to they want you to throw the roundhouse kick at that front leg. And here's why he's limping. See, he planted the leg. There's, I don't think he checked a single low kick in this whole fight. And he's, Bottolini knew. And two more low kicks and this fight was over. It's, it's very, very painful. That is extremely painful. He's hitting right above the knee and just chopping the tree down. You can't stand, you can't punch. And Timber goes Francois Ombang. Impressive performance from Joseph Altolini, who improves to 9-1. He entered into this fight ranked number 8 in the welterweight division. Game effort by Ombang. Yeah, Ombang got up, but boy, he couldn't continue. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have an official time of one minute and four seconds of that third and final round. When our referee, Al Wicker, steps in to wave this one off for your winner, Bazooka Joe Joseph Valtellini. Not a bad win for the physical education teacher at a high school in Toronto, Canada, Joseph Valtellini. And with the win, Joseph Baltolini moves up one spot in our glory welterweight rankings. We're not a surprise as Francois Ombang came in as the number 19 welterweight. And the system is based on performance. Points are added for victories and deducted for losses. We got a lot more action coming up later tonight, including this man, Errol Zimmerman. He's looking pretty quick there, man. I mean, Arrow is usually a bomber from the outside, but his hands look lightning fast right here in this clip. And of course, we still have the semifinals of the tournament coming up. I just got word the ringside doctor has cleared all our fighters. They will be moving on to the semis. But before that,